everyone, it's Kim. Okay, so I try and record them. All, I usually always make two um, batches of the slab molds when I make them um, because, you know, they're more difficult and I'd rather just get two over with at once um, since they're just really small um, 12 bar molds anyway. And so I'll show you the first one because in the middle of it, the um, camera stopped. So that was always just great. And so... Um, let me show you what it looks like. Remember, this was the picture that I was going off of these flowers, you know, the lily of the valley, and I wanted to do it in gray and white just simply because I liked the way it looked once it turned out, I mean, once I printed it. And so this was the way it turned out. I kind of put... Um, some silver mica to do a mica swirl on there and I kind of put it on at the last minute so on this next one hopefully I'll remember yell at me if I don't haha and so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one now and hopefully I've taken enough stuff off my um, camera that it'll um, it won't run out of it won't run out of uh, memory Okay, so these are my um, oils, and I have, every time I do a slab mold, because this is this ancient series, I call it, or whatever, the ones I wrap up in the um, cheesecloth, um, I put a little bit of um, beeswax in them, I'm sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, is before I add my um, lye water, I'm going to go ahead and add my... This is Kaleido Oatmeal and Carolyn Clay. did those last night okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my lye water and it has silk in it and I'll go ahead and add my I'm adding sodium lactate to these I'm squeezing that much in there because I, on the other video that I deleted, I had to add it three times. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to just go ahead, oh, and I need to add my um, coconut milk, because I should have added that in too right there. is time for a new stick blender for sure. Okay, so all that goodness is in there. 
I already had my shea butter added into the oils whenever I weighed them all out earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil. And the fragrance oil is not just straight lily of the valley. It is a blend. Um, I, you know, just, I tried a few different ones and um, I just decided that it's all for, you know, I just didn't want it to smell too perfumey and I've never smelled real lily of the valley so what do I know anyway, but I just wanted it to kind of have a little bit of a green note. See how I am? And um, so I, I mixed a little bit up. I added a little bit of, um, I guess like a grassy note to it, I guess you would call it. So then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take some and pour it off to mix it, mix some gray. Because I need it for my leaves and um, I need it for my leaves and I need it to um, do the stems. Or actually, I'm going to do a small amount of a lighter gray this time because for the stems because I felt that it just kind of disappeared on there. That should be enough. Okay, so let me go ahead and add some more of that just to brighten it up. And then a little bit of that and let's see how that goes. Okay, that'll be good for the stem. And then this is going to be the leaves. sitting here stirring this and I realized that my tip for the um, leaves and the stems is not ready in the bag. That's just lovely. Okay, well I have some time anyway for this because it's not ready to be piped anyway. Let me see this one. Yeah, I have a little bit of time. Those will definitely stand out better together than the straight gray that I had before. Let me go ahead and get my bag ready.